What's going on YouTube? It's Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. The Fragrance and Fashion Channel. That's what we talk about <laughs> over here. So if you like looking good and smelling great, then guess what? You might enjoy this content because we get all into it on this channel. So make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon as well to make sure you get notified when those videos get uploaded here on this YouTube platform. So guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 fragrances that have that amazing scent trail, that scent bubble. When you walk by somebody, that wind or that air they <laughs> get hit with in the nostrils all up in here. Uh, when you walk by and you're wearing a fragrance, that sillage is what we're talking about today. I have 10 fragrances on, the, on my list today that have amazing scent trails, amazing sillage. That's what we're going to be getting into today. So guys, you've been warned, beware these fragrances to your local convenience store. And there's this lady following you around with her cart and she's acting like she's looking at something on every aisle that you're on. She's just enjoying that sea ice. That's all it is. So, there you go. That's what this is about. That's what this is about. <laughs> so, if you want to see what's on the list today, man, you know how we rock. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to get into the list of fragrances. But remember, if you don't have these two, which for, these two have amazing sillage as well, uh, Serenade and Obad from Novatus, which was done in combination with none other than yours. Truly make sure that you go ahead and pick these up as well. I always have these linked down below. There's not a whole lot uh, of these left. So you might want to go ahead and try to grab them while you have time but both of those fragrances have great sillage as well but the first fragrance on the list today comes from the house of parfum de marley and this is what's called hobden hobden and this is just a beautiful fragrance guys i just went to the uh fair here uh where i live the state fair and i had a candy apple that's what this smells like you got that caramel and rose in this fragrance and it's just it's a very welcoming and very inviting scent. People want to smell you when you smell like that. Who, I mean, who wouldn't want to smell somebody that smells like a candy apple? I mean, come on. We know what time it is with that. And this one leaves a beautiful scent trail behind it. It just has this slightly sweet, nutty rose, sweet rose kind of thing going on. And it just works. So if you're looking for a fragrance that is going to be amazing in the category of scent trail and sillage, then I bring to your attention this one from Parfums of Marley. Again, it's called Hopton. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, again, admittedly, I'm not the hugest fan of this fragrance, but man, if you want a nice scent trail, this is going to get the job done for you. And this is Versace Eros, and this is the Eau de Parfum. Now, coincidentally, I have the <laughs> big bottle, so I'll never run out of this stuff, of course. But listen, man, it's just one of those fragrances. It's really, really mass appealing, and people just like it. I mean, it's sweet. Very playful, very, very in your face. And this is, the, like I said, the EDP concentration. But again, I can't front. It leaves a really nice scent trail. You have that leather in here, that uh, that vanilla, and that whole mint uh, that you got, got from the original. That's still in here as well. The apple is still in here. But it got some ambroxin in here as well. It really enhances the performance. And like I said, it's really hard for people not to smell you when you wear this stuff. But again, it really does leave a nice scent trail. This is one where you can be in a room, leave the room, and it's still lingering in the air. So make sure if you like those kind of playful, uh, clubbing kind of fragrances, this is definitely one that will get the job done. Again, if you're looking for something with a nice scent trail, this is Versace Eros Eau de Parfum. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list. This thing smells delicious. You're going to smell delicious as well if you wear this fragrance from Zerjoff. This is called Herba Pura. And this is, uh, like I said, just a very fruity fragrance and then on the dry down you get some vanilla uh, and I think maybe some amber in here as well. This stuff is good man. It is really 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 good. Mouth watering, delectable. If you like fruits, it <laughs> will probably make your mouth water like I said. But when you wear it, it's one of those fragrances that just get people's attention. People like either it's really really fresh and clean or they like the really really sweet playful stuff. This is sweet, playful and good. Scent trail on this is amazing. So check it out from Jerjaw. A beautiful bottle right here. This is called Herba Pura. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list is a little bit newer, but man, it's been working for me again. If you talk about 
a nice siage on this fragrance right here from Prada. This is called Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. The newest release from the Prada Luna Rosa line of fragrances is really, really good. Suede is in this. The caramel is in this as well. The lavender, of course, that you are probably accustomed to if you smell the other Prada Luna Rosa fragrances. And this thing is absolutely amazing. There is this kind of sea or aquatic kind of tone, blue tone in the heart of this fragrance, but it's much more than that. It really works. And again, this is one of the fragrances out of that whole line. When you talk about sea eyes, this is one that you gotta start really mentioning. Look, I haven't had this that long. I've already knocked it down to here because I really, really enjoy this stuff. Really nice and easy to wear for any situation. It can be signature scent worthy. So check it out, man. Just one of those scents that people tend to really, really enjoy when you wear it. From the House of Prada, this is called Luna Rosa Ocean. All right, the next fragrance up on the list comes from the House of BDK Parfums, and this is called Grease Charnel. Grease Charnel, a beautiful sandalwood fragrance. <laughs> man, the sandalwood in this is so good, man. Again, it kind of puts you in the mindset of sacred wood from by Killian. That's what it kind of smells like to me. But this is a little bit more of like this kind of fizzy, uh, invigorating vibe that you get from this it makes it a little bit different from uh, sacred wood and that comes from the uh, the black tea in this fragrance it has black tea tonka bean of course sandalwood amazing amazing fragrance amazing scent trail so if you haven't put your nose on this if you like sandalwood I'm sure you'll enjoy it from BDK Parfum this is called Grease Chanel all right guys the next fragrance on this list this one comes from the house of Prada and this is Prada Loam and this is the intense version. You still get the uh, same essence that you get from the original Prada uh, loan, but of course, as it says, it's more intense. And this fragrance will be in the room long after you are. Trust me on that. I've had this fragrance included on list before of some of my uh, beast mode performing fragrances. This thing really, really works, man. The iris in here, the tonka bean, the leather, amazing fragrance. Like I said, it really, really does a great job of lingering uh, in the air and uh, people are gonna really want to know man who was this that caused this whole situation uh, in this room when you wear this so definitely good in that category from the house of Prada this is Prada Loan Intense alright guys the next fragrance on this list this one comes from the house of Bond number nine haven't talked a lot about this one yet but this one deserves a full review if you're looking for a fragrance from Bond number nine that has awesome sea eyes a nice scent trail this one will get the job done, and this one is called Tribeca. Tribeca, one of the latest releases from Bond Number no. Nine. Ah, stuff is good, man. Cacao, hazelnut, caramel, and then it also has this moss accord in the in the heart. So it kind of gives this slight green uh, heart that kind of runs through right through the middle of all those sweeter, more gourmand kind of elements. Very, very unique. And again, it performs great and leaves an amazing scent trail. Some people have compared this to Baccarat Rouge 540, eh, about maybe 25%. You do kind of get those vibes, but this is done in a different way. Again, it's, it's more green, a little bit more sweet and gourmand than Baccarat Rouge, but it's an amazing scent trail kind of scent. So make sure you check this one out, man. It's really, really good for mine number nine. This is called Tribeca. All right, the next fragrance on this list, I mean, how could I have a list without Siage, without having Siage from the house of Armagh? Club de Nuit Siage, man, this thing smells just like Silver Mountain Water. It smells like the good batches of Silver Mountain Water. I have one from 2015 or 16, I think it is, but it smells, again, 95, 96% similar. This thing is an amazing performer. As a matter of fact, my son wore this the other day and I was like, man, yeah. I knew it was Silver Mountain Water or this, and he actually had uh, this on. This stuff is amazing when you talk about Siage or Scent Trail. So make sure you check out Club de Nui Siage from the house of Armoff if you're looking for a nice Siage. <laughs> All right, and the next fragrance on the list again, if you're talking about fragrances with Siage, uh, look, it's appropriately named from the house of Siage. This is number one. And this is a fragrance house that. It used to get talked about a lot more back in the day, maybe four years ago, but a lot of people don't really mention the House of Siage anymore, but this is probably their most iconic fragrance. You have cinnamon, amber, and oud as the fragrance opens up. It dries down. You got some tonka bean in here, cloves, ginger, 
an amazing fragrance that leaves an amazing CI. So if you have not put your nose on this, which some of you probably haven't because a lot of people don't really talk about this house as much as they used to, but this is the best one from the brand. This is House of Siage, and this is called number one. All right, guys, and last but not least on this list, again, I'm just gonna show you the bottle. I don't like the bottle, but man, if you talk about a fragrance that smells nice and lingers in the air and it has a beautiful scent trail, this is from Paco Rabanne, and this one, of course, you guys know what this one is right here <laughs> from Paco Rabanne. This is called Phantom. Phantom from Paco Rabanne. Look, it's sweet, it's playful, it's a little bit spicy, but man, this stuff is good. This was released recently, the latest release from the house of Paco Rabanne, and again, if you like myself, if the bottle bothered you, you're not the biggest fan of the bottle, once you get past the presentation, I have to admit the fragrance is really, really good. So check this one out from the house of Paco Rabanne. Again, this one is called Phantom. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video as I gave you 10 fragrances that have amazing CIs. These are the kings of the scent trail. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that may love fragrance and fashion related content or they may just find this kind of stuff interesting or entertaining. I sincerely appreciate it because I'm your guy. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good over here and I love to smell absolutely positively amazing. So until next time, guys, you keep looking good. You guys keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.